You did it, Xander. You won. What's going through your head? I'm excited right now. I'm no longer relieved. I feel like, hey, I earned this one today. I, we both played great, so it's, it's kind of nice to come out on top. Is this the biggest win in your career so far? I would think so. Just uh, most rounded win, just stroke play, match play, and the way I played, I, feel, I definitely feel like I deserve to win this one. It's a long tournament. How do you keep, keep pushing through? Today was kind of more adrenaline. Not that I had it. But I'm sure it was somewhere in there, but uh, today was, it was easy to keep pushing through. I actually felt fresher in my second 18 than the first 18. A little, we both played a little sloppy that first 18, so it was kind of nice we came out for the, to play on the second, second round. You were both 7 under through 17 today with both of you playing so well. Do you kind of feed off each other? Absolutely. We were both just, we were just taking shots at each other, I think. I didn't even realize I was 7 under. I was just, he was trying to match me, I was trying to match him. So I lost track and just kind of fell into my round. About a month ago here at Media Day, we grilled you a little bit. Uh, you've been dominant in stroke play events and haven't been able to pull out a match play win. Uh, what changed this week and, and were you putting any pressure on yourself? I take the criticism to heart. No, I'm just kidding. I just, I try to play my own game. At first I was a little tired, then I had a little wake up call, so it all kind of worked out in my favor. Also at Media Day, we introduced you as the lowest ranked amateur in the 156 player field and, and you kind of looked at someone and said, hey, I have a shot to win this. Uh, was that more pressure? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm not thinking about when I'm hitting shots, but coming in, you know, into match play, I don't know if everyone knew, but I felt like I had a little target on my back and kids were playing like it. So a little bit of pressure here and there, but I mean, if I work hard enough and put time into it, just let it happen, and that's what I did. You were fortunate enough to go into the second 18 here with a one-up advantage, and then you guys just, like you said, match each other shot for shot. However, after Bo's tee shot found water on, on 18, it kind of seemed like you had it in the bag. What, what were the emotions like? I was trying to stay, you know, some of the people and the some of the fans were, you know, congratulating, not really congratulating, but a little too pumped up, and I was just trying to stay in my sh in my game and not really think about everyone else and just stick to target golf and that's what I did. No butterflies there. The last few shots looked good, but but you had to be feeling something. Yeah, I definitely was. More on the tee shot. You know, fortunately, the tee shot's a little more intimidating than a couple 140 yard shots. So, once once I was safe on land hitting into the green, I didn't even realize that uh, I could two putt or three putt to win potentially and my dad let me know and I kind of that's the first time I kind of relaxed today. <laughs> You had a bunch of people cheering you on. What'd that feel like? It was awesome. Uh, the first 18, I think Bo had a couple more people out here than I did. You know, his cheers were a little louder. I didn't. Really, I don't know. Plus, the people that come out and support me, they're pretty quiet for the most part. So it was nice to see some familiar faces and have have the support. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much.